Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to create a handrail in Rhino using Grasshopper. So uh, we will jump to another Rhino viewport and first of all we need a baseline that defines our uh, first step of creating our handrail. I click on it and import it to the uh, Grasshopper viewport by just uh, using curve component and uh, I am going to right click here and choose set one curve and uh, now our baseline is in grasshopper so next move is to uh, create the balusters on this um, curve which uh, needs to define a value for the distance between the balusters on here too so I double click here and type divide uh, lens And then I connect this curve to the C parameter of this uh, divide lens component. Uh, the next step is to define the value. So double click here, type 0 0.02, um, double dot, uh, 1. It means uh, you can choose uh, a domain between 2 centimeter uh, to uh, one meter between the two balusters of our handrail. So as you can see, it's too much here. Uh, I will increase it to, for example, 22. After that, we need to use a move component to create a copy from uh, this line over here and this uh, points group. I will click here and type Z as the direction of our movement and uh, we need to connect uh, these points to the geometry parameter of our movement and then I will increase this for example to 8 it means uh, we have 80 centimeters height for each baluster and I will increase this distance, for example, to 50. After that, we should uh, create these uh, lines between these two uh, point groups. Double click here, type line, create two uh, point components here. Now we connect these points to line parameters like that. After that we need to uh, create a poly surface from these lines which means we need to create some pipes. And uh, define this parameter to uh, flat to turn these pipes to poly surfaces. Uh, next move is to create another curve up here as uh, the top frail, the, uh, the top handrail. Um, so we need another move. So uh, Control C, Control V. Again, uh, these two. Control C, Control V here. This is uh, the easiest way to create a basic handrail using Grasshopper. Um, so just the next step is to uh, bake these uh, components. If we need another uh, handrail with a different shape of uh, top handrail, uh, we can use sweep and orient components to uh, create a different uh, type of handrail. So I go to hidden objects and bring this line to Rhino viewport and hide these. Okay. I go to Grasshopper again and I'll bring this bring this uh, curve to Grasshopper. Set one curve. 
and copy some of our uh, previous components. We want to create a different type of handrail here, so we need a profile care at first. Uh, I will uh, design something like this with a polyline here. And I'll bring it to Grasshopper, click on here, set one curve and choose this one. And as you can see, it's on XY uh, plane, so we need to bring a, uh, actually XY component here, like that. And then we want a perpendicular frames for uh, the top rail here, so uh, I need it here and I just want one uh, perpendicular curve so type here and or uh, use panel and double click here type 1 and right click click on multi-line data and then uh, I'm going to connect it to N um, and next step is to orient this plane to these planes so the only thing I need is to double click here and type orient. Uh, the geometry is this profile curve which we created earlier and then the base uh, plane is XY plane and uh, the target planes are this. As you can see it's uh, oriented on uh, this plane, but it's not in the correct direction. So I just want to need, I just want to uh, rotate this uh, profile curve on this plane. Double click here, type uh, rotate. Our geometry is this uh, curve here. We need uh, the degree angle, so right click and choose degrees. So double dot 360 as the um, angle of this rotation. And then as the um, plane, we should uh, connect the frames out of this line to uh, this parameter. And double click type 180 and hit enter. It's, um, it should be like this and it means 270 and now uh, we need sweep component sweep 1 uh, the top rail should be so I create a curve here and choose it um, as a curve component and then I connect it to the top rail uh, as a sweep sweep rail and my section is these and as you can see uh, the top rail is created and the only thing we uh, should do is to double click here type cap and connect the output to the caps input right click and hit bake uh, create it on layer 3 okay that's it and we want uh, these balusters baked too and that's all we have created these two and if we go there we can break the basic one back that's it uh, I'll change the color of each one to black because I don't want um, colors in arctic mood so these should be like this that's all I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video um, make sure you uh, subscribe my channel and stay tuned for other videos that I'm going to make 
for uh, Rhino features and um, don't forget to ask any questions that you have from Rhino and I will make other tutorials to answer your questions. And stay tuned with me.